Welcome back to Breakfast with Bob. We are ignited by Athlinks. We are at the Blueprint for Athletes, Leadville 100 Mountain Bike Classic. And really one of my favorite programs that we're going to be seeing out here is from Transamerica. Talk a little bit about it, Casey Cortez, what you guys are doing here. Well, Transamerica is very committed to helping people live a fit and healthy lifestyle. We think right. that's very important. And our firm is all about helping people make decisions today and take action today that will make their future brighter. Uh -huh. And with that, we created a program called the Tomorrow Chaser Program that we've done at different cycling and running events, and it's our first time here in Leadville. But we have an incredible athlete, Ty Hall, right here yes. with us, who is going to start the race at the very back of the pack. And for every person that he passes, Transamerica will donate $5 to charity to the Leadville Legacy Foundation. So we're hoping that this is the one person that everybody on the course is going to feel really good about when they get passed. Yeah, and Ty, you are a Leadville guy. I mean, we're not talking about somebody from outside the area. You... You've been here for how many years? I've, yeah, I've been here since 1988. My wife was born and raised here in Leadville, so definitely this is our uh, our hometown. It's the longest I've ever lived anywhere. So, and you're going for your 14th finish. This will hopefully be the 14th finish. Yeah, if everything can go smoothly. So tomorrow. you've got one of those big 10 ones. I do. I've the got thousand? one of the big ones. You haven't quite figured out how to wear that. I was going to say yeah, that. I've, I've definitely you, have. Uh, that, I've got it. Yeah, that's a big thing. I would wear it, Mr. T style. <laughs> right. I think, yeah, around the neck. Right. Yeah, I think exactly. that would be cool. That would be. So talk a little bit about the Legacy Foundation and what they do, because uh, Casey was just telling me that 100% of the kids from high school here uh, graduate, which is amazing to me. Right. And we had, there was last year, uh, I don't know all the stats perfectly, yeah, but yeah. I think 55 students graduated from the Lake County High School, and 100% of those students went on to further education, and each one of those from the Leadville Legacy were given $1,000 for a scholarship to continue their education. So to have 100% graduate and then to even more so go on to higher education of some form and to have the Leadville Legacy give them and help that is, uh, I think, really special. So when you first were approached saying, hey, we'd like you to go off last, <laughs> you're a 745 guy, you're right? right. You, you've, you've got that sub nine buckle, you, you've, you've done it all. Uh, did you have any trepidation of, oh my God, wait, I'm going to start where and I've got to pass all these people? Right. You know, obviously my instant reaction, although it only lasted a millisecond, was like, well, I'm going to start in the back. Yeah. But then yeah. I was like, well, wait a second. I mean, it's such a good cause. It's such a great program here in, in uh, Lake County and Leadville. And to have Transamerica step up like that and be, you know, willing to donate the money that yeah. I might be able to raise tomorrow, and it was an opportunity that I definitely couldn't miss or pass up and then just really wanted to go for it it's going to be i think just so fun it's going to be really cool what's always interesting to me is is guys who are used to be at the front of the pack where it's a little you know it's a little cleaner a little less people around all of a sudden now you're you're with you're you're with the pack you're part of the pack that's that's tough sometimes for guys who aren't used to being back there that is going to be my biggest, yeah, thing. I mean, I've got to yeah. really be patient. and Yes. Get out to, of my way. Yeah. What are you doing? I'm raising money here. You know, living here and knowing the course so well, I think, you know, I know, you know a lot of the lines, you know, maybe where not to do it and where to do it. So I'm hoping I can, um, A, just be as safe as possible and, you know, hopefully just have a great day and pass everybody. Casey, Transamerica, and, and I, I, I know you personally, and I know – what charity means to you. Uh, you've, uh, your whole career has all be, always been about charity and giving back. But you connect the brands that you work with with charity. How, how important it has been, not just you personally, but for a company like Transamerica? I think it's a really unique opportunity for a company to showcase their values. Yeah. You know, in this day and age, you look at everything that's offered by different companies from financial services to consumer goods. And it's really hard to get people to understand what you bring to the table that's mm -hmm. a little bit different. Yeah. And I think that when you have a company that's based on values the way Transamerica is, and it really is about transforming people's tomorrows, yes. that charity component is a way for us to live our brand authentically. We can show it in the products that we offer, sure. whether it's you know our big ring bike insurance, registration refund, or core life insurance. But at the end of the day, we want people to know that the way we deliver our products 
products is based on that value set where the community we create, what we do for people as individuals right. is so important to us and that we want to be the company that shows that in everything we do, our products, our services, our programs, our sponsorships of endurance events. The other side of that is, as I found over the years, when a company immerses itself into the charity side of things, there's a trickle-down effect to your employees, right, and the people you work with on a daily basis who understand that there's a bigger purpose. How important is that? that that's hugely important. We want people who come to work for Transamerica to be with us for a long time. Yeah. And the way that we give back is a way to help instill a sense of pride in the organization, yeah. that it's a business, but it's also a business that cares about community and people. And if we can do that through our programs, if we can engage our employees in what we're doing as yeah. well, that makes us just stronger, both as a company Company and also as a community. And then it allows us to create programs like this that hopefully can be sustained for a long time in the future. And it also allows us to meet some incredible people like Ty. Yeah. And I think the connection is really neat because we can help people see how their passion for their sport can turn in a, into a passion for other people as well. And that trickle-down effect that you mentioned is, is critical and really valuable. The other side of it is by you starting last, you're basically a mobile billboard for the Legacy Foundation, mm -hmm. right? And I've noticed that over the years with, with our Challenge Athlete Foundation athletes. People see the athletes at the race and understand what that means and what they're going through. For you, every time, I'm sure people are like, oh, darn, some guy's, oh, that's a Legacy guy right? Which is going to be cool. But also they're, they're, they're finding out even if, if not everybody was in the gym today. So a lot of people are going to be finding out about that legacy foundation as you're passing by. No, I think it's, it's definitely, they're going to be finding out about it. They're going to hopefully know more about it and maybe be able to help out in ways that they might be able to. I've already had so many people with such positive responses mm -hmm. of they want to help me. They want to push me. They're going to let me draft. You know, I mean, everybody <laughs> wants to help me, you know, pass. Unless you out sprint them at the end. Right. Yeah. You know, so I think I, I might be the one guy out there that not everybody the gets like. That, yeah. That they may not get mad that I'm passing them because they know that. it's for a good cause. And it is a good cause. And I think it's, yeah, going to be a great day for sure. The fact that you're starting later, uh, or you're starting at the back, will that make much of a difference for you in terms of, you know, being hotter, being colder, or the climbs, or it's not that big a difference? Well, I'm not an early riser, so I was kind of hoping I could sleep in a little there bit. There you go. And then be like, okay, I'll just show up and I like start it. last. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So that was a plus. But um, no, I mean, I think, you know, even starting dead last, you know, I mean, it's going to be a little bit slower in the very beginning, but I really think there's not such a radical penalty with starting, you know, dead last. I mean, it obviously is going to be a bit, little bit slower. It's going to take time to, yeah. to weave through people and pick and choose your lines, things that, you know, maybe you wouldn't have to do otherwise. But like I said, I'm really, I'm just hoping to, I mean, even talk to people and yeah. say hello and, yeah. you know, get to see, you know, a different side of the race that I haven't done before. Right. So it's just going to afford a lot of really cool things and just raise a lot of money for, for a great organization. Now, is your wife racing tomorrow too? Right. My wife, Roxanne, who was born and raised here in Leadville, both of her parents worked at the Climax Mine that, wow. you know, they worked with Ken Clover and, you know, knew, know them very well. And, um, she is racing. It'll be her 14th attempt as well. So we've, um, had an awesome experience with Leadville and, in uh, the races and, you know, everything that it's about. So you'll be passing her somewhere during the race? I really hope so. I, yeah. I, you know, I mean, <laughs> is that okay? Have right. you discussed yeah. that and have yeah, a family we've sit down? Yeah, I can Funny, give her. I'm going to be passing you somewhere along the nice way. Nice pat on the back yeah, as I go by. I love that. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Hey, Ken and Casey, thank you so much. Tomorrow Chaser, right? I love that brand, Tomorrow Chaser. It's That's awesome. really cool. Thanks, you guys, for coming in. Thanks thank for you. having us. All right, again. This is Breakfast with Bob. My name is Bob Babbitt, and we are ignited by Athlinks. We are at the Blueprint for Athletes, Leadville 100, which is a legendary event. Kicks off tomorrow morning in just a few hours. You probably better get to bed. Yeah, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Hold on, everyone. We will be right back.